Slovak listen is an Indo-European language that belongs to the West Slavic languages together with Czech, Polish, and Sorbian. It is called Slovenski Jazyk pronounced Eselenski Jazyk listen or Slovencina slantina in the language itself. Slovak is the official language of Slovakia, where it is spoken by approximately 5.51 million people 2014. Slovak speakers are also found in the United States, the Czech Republic, Argentina, Serbia, Ireland, Romania, Poland, Canada, Hungary, Croatia, Israel, the United Kingdom, Australia, Austria, Ukraine and many other countries worldwide. Slovak should not be confused with Slovene, or Slovenian Slovenski Jezik or Slovencina, the main language of Slovenia. Phonology <laughs> Topic. Orthography Slovak uses the Latin script with small modifications that include the four diacritics, placed above certain letters a -A -A -C -C -D -D, DZ -Ds, e -A, I -I, L -L, L -N -N -O -O -O, R -R, SS, T -T, U -U, y -Y, Z -Z. The primary principle of Slovak spelling is the phonemic principle. The secondary principle is the morphological principle. Forms derived from the same stem are written in the same way even if they are pronounced differently. An example of this principle is the assimilation rule, see below. The tertiary principle is the etymological principle, which can be seen in the use of i after certain consonants and of y after other consonants, although both i and y are pronounced almost but usually the same way. Finally, the rarely applied grammatical principle is present when, for example, the basic singular form and plural form of masculine adjectives are written differently with no difference in pronunciation e.g. pekni. Topic. Nice, singular versus pekni. Nice, plural. In addition, the following rules are present. When a voiced consonant b, d, 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 z, d's, g, h, z, z is at the end of a word before a pause, it is devoiced to its voiceless counterpart p, t, t, c, c, k, ch, s, s, respectively. For example, p o h y b is pronounced pip, and prepad is pronounced pri pat. The assimilation rule, consonant clusters containing both voiced and voiceless elements are entirely voiced if the last consonant is a voiced one, or voiceless if the last consonant is voiceless. For example, otaska is pronounced ta -ska, and vizchapitsa is pronounced fsxpitsa. This rule applies also over the word boundary. For example, pris dama to come home and viak jihad adds yati more strawberries. The voiced counterpart of ch x is and the unvoiced counterpart of h is x most foreign words receive slovak spelling immediately or after some time for example weekend is spelled vikend software software gay gej -E both not exclusively and quality is spelled kvalita Personal and geographical names from other languages using Latin alphabets keep their original spelling unless a fully Slovak form of the name exists e.g. London for London. Slovak features some heterophonic homographs words with identical spelling but different pronunciation and meaning, the most common examples being krasny, krasn, beautiful versus krasny, kras, beautifully. Topic. Syntax. The main features of Slovak syntax are as follows. The verb predicate agrees in person and number with its subject. Some examples include the following. Speviska spiva, the plus woman plus singer is plus singing. Spevika spiva, where is the empty third person singular ending speviki spivaju. Woman plus singers are plus singing. Spevik y spiva j u, u is a third person plural ending, and j is a hiatus sound. My speviki spivame, we the plus woman plus singers are plus singing. My spevik y spiva me, where me is the first person plural ending, and so forth. Adjectives, pronouns, and numerals agree in person, gender, and case with the noun to which they refer. Adjectives precede their noun. Botanic or zoological terms are exceptions, e.g., makadiva, literally. Cat wild. 
Felis Silvestris as is the naming of Holy Spirit Dutch Swati in a majority of churches, word order in Slovak is relatively free, since strong inflection enables the identification of grammatical roles subject, object, predicate, etc. regardless of word placement. This relatively free word order allows the use of word order to convey topic and emphasis. Some examples are as follows Ten Velki Mus Tam Dnes Atvara Obchad Topic. That big man opens a store there today, 10. That, Velki Topic. Big, Moos Man, Tam Topic. There, Dnes Today, Atvara Topic. Opens, Obchad Store The word order does not emphasize any specific detail, just general information. Ten Velki Mus Dnes Atvara Obchad Tam Topic. That big man is today opening a store there. This word order emphasizes the place Tam There Dnes Tam Atvara Obchad Ten Velki Mus Topic. Today over there a store is being opened by that big man. This word order focuses on the person who is opening the store Ten. That, Velki Topic. Big, Mus Man Obchad Tam Dnes Atvara Ten Velki Mus. Equals the store over there is today being opened by that big man. Depending on the intonation the focus can be either on the store itself or on the person, the unmarked order is subject-verb-object. Variation in word order is generally possible, but word order is not completely free. In the above example, the noun phrase Ten Velki Mus cannot be split up, so that the following combinations are not possible. Ten Atvara Velki Mus Tam Dnes Obchad Obchad Mus Tam Ten Velki Dnes Atvara And the following is stylistically not correct. Obchad Ten Velki Mus Dnes Tam Atvara, only possible in a poem or a similar style. This is correct. Ten Velki Mus Tam Dnes Atvara Obchad Ten Velki Mus Tam Atvara Dnes Obchad Atvara Tam Dnes Ten Velki Mus Obchad Topic. Morphology Topic. Articles Slovak does not have articles. The demonstrative pronoun ten fem, ta, neuter, tu, may be used in front of the noun in situations where definiteness must be made explicit. Topic. Nouns, adjectives, pronouns Slovak nouns are inflected for case and number. There are six cases, nominative, genitive, dative, accusative, locative, and instrumental. The vocative is no longer morphologically marked. There are two numbers, singular and plural. Nouns have inherent gender. There are three genders, masculine, feminine, and neuter. Adjectives and pronouns must agree with nouns in case, number, and gender. Topic. Numerals. The numerals 0 to 10 have unique forms, with numerals 1 to 4 requiring specific gendered representations. Numerals 11 to 19 are formed by adding nast to the end of each numeral. The suffix desat is used to create numerals 20, 30 and 40, for numerals 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90, desiat is used. Compound numerals 21, 10, 54 are combinations of these words formed in the same order as their mathematical symbol is written e.g. 21 equals divadsatyadin, literally, 21. The numerals are as follows. Some higher numbers, 200 d vesto, 300 tristo, 900 divatstu, 1000 tizik, 
1100 Tizikstō 2000 Devetisik 100000 Stotisik 200000 Devastotisik 1 million Million 1 billion Milliarda Counted nouns have two forms the most common form is the plural genitive e.g. pat damav Topic. Five houses or stadva zian. 102 women, while the plural form of the noun when counting the amounts of 2 to 4, etc., is usually the nominative form without counting e.g. dva domi. Topic. Two houses or dve zini. Two women, but gender rules do apply in many cases. Topic: <inaudible> Verbs. Verbs have three major conjugations. Three persons and two numbers, singular and plural, are distinguished. Several conjugation paradigms exist as follows: A type verbs, a type verbs, rhythmic law, a type verbs, soft stem, I type verbs, C type verbs, rhythmic law, E type verbs, type verbs, ovet, E type verbs, typically canute, I E type verbs, typically venute, I E type verbs, court, street, Z T, I E type verbs, niet, irregular verb subject personal pronouns are omitted unless they are emphatic. Some imperfective verbs are created from the stems of perfective verbs to denote repeated or habitual actions. These are considered separate lexemes. One example is as follows, to hide perfective topic. Script, to hide habitual Scrivat Historically, two past tense forms were utilized. Both are formed analytically. The second of these, equivalent to the pluperfect, is not used in the modern language, being considered archaic and or grammatically incorrect. Examples for two related verbs are as follows: skrit, skrill som, I hid, I have hidden, bol som skrill, I had hidden. Skrivat, skrival som, bol som skrival. One future tense exists. For imperfective verbs, it is formed analytically. For perfective verbs, it is identical with the present tense. Some examples are as follows: skrit, skrijam, skrivat, budam skrivatu. Conditional forms exist. Both are formed analytically from the past tense, skrit, skrill by som, I would hide, bol by som skrill, I would have hidden, skrivat, skrival by som, bol by som skrival. Passive voice is formed either as in English to be plus past participle or using the reflexive pronoun sa, skrit, je skrita, sa skrij, skrivat, je skrivani, sa skrivatha. Active present participle equals tilde ing one is formed using the suffixes uc, iaci, asaskrit, skrijuchi. Scrivat, scrivajusith transgressive equals while, by. Dotting is formed using the suffixes uk, uc, iac slash dash ak dot scri t, scrijuk by hiding perfective. Scrivat, scrivajuk while, during hiding, the active past participle equals tilde ing in the past was formerly formed using the suffix vish, but is no longer used. The passive participle equals tilde ed one, the third form. Is formed using the suffixes ni, ti, eni, skrit, skrita, skrivat, scrivanith gerund equals the process of dot ing is formed using the suffix ie, skrit, skriti, skrivat, scrivani. Topic. Adverbs. Adverbs are formed by replacing the adjectival ending with the ending o or e, y. Sometimes both O and E are possible. Examples include the following Visoki high, Visoko highly, Pekni nice, Pekni nicely, Priatelski friendly, Priatelski in a friendly manner, Rikli fast, Riklo quickly. The comparative, superlative of adverbs is formed by replacing the adjectival ending with a comparative, superlative ending, e.j. C or e.j. S.I.E. Examples include the following. Rikli fast rikle si faster najrichle si fastest riklo quickly rikle si more quickly najrichle si most quickly topic prepositions each preposition is associated with one or more grammatical cases 
The noun governed by a preposition must appear in the case required by the preposition in the given context e.g. from friends equals ad priatilov. Priatilov is the genitive case of priatelia. It must appear in this case because the preposition odd equals from always calls for its objects to be in the genitive. Around the square equals po namesti locative case. Past the square equals po namesti accusative case. Po has a different meaning depending on the case of its governed noun. Topic: History. Topic: Relationships to other languages. The Slovak language is a descendant of Proto-Slavic, itself a descendant of Proto-Indo-European. It is closely related to the other West Slavic languages, primarily to Czech and Polish. Czech also influenced the language in its later development. To lesser degrees, moreover, Slovak has been influenced by German, Latin, Hungarian, and recently English. Topic. Czech. Although most dialects of Czech and Slovak are mutually intelligible see comparison of Slovak and Czech, Eastern Slovak dialects are less intelligible to speakers of Czech and closer to Polish, and contact between speakers of Czech and speakers of the Eastern dialects is limited. Since the dissolution of Czechoslovakia it has been permitted to use Czech in TV broadcasting and, like any other language of the world, during court proceedings Administration Procedure Act 99-1963 of a Zeta bit. From 1999 to August 2009, the Minority Language Act 184-1999 ZZ, in its section, section 6, contained the variously interpreted unclear provision saying that when applying this act, it holds that the use of the Czech language fulfills the requirement of fundamental intelligibility with the state language. The state language is Slovak and the Minority Language Act basically refers to municipalities with more than 20% ethnic minority population no such Czech municipalities are found in Slovakia. Since 1 September 2009 due to an amendment to the State Language Act 271995 ZZ, a language fundamentally intelligible with the state language i.e. the Czech language may be used in contact with state offices and bodies by its native speakers, and documents written in it and issued by bodies in the Czech Republic are officially accepted. Regardless of its official status, Czech is used commonly both in Slovak mass media and in daily communication by Czech natives as an equal language. Czech and Slovak have a long history of interaction and mutual influence well before the creation of Czechoslovakia in 1918, a state which existed until 1993. Literary Slovak shares significant orthographic features with Czech, as well as technical and professional terminology dating from the Czechoslovak period, but phonetic, grammatical, and vocabulary differences do exist. Other Slavic languages Slavic language varieties tend to be closely related, and have had a large degree of mutual influence, due to the complicated ethnopolitical history of their historic ranges. This is reflected in the many features Slovak shares with neighboring language varieties. Standard Slovak shares high degrees of mutual intelligibility with many Slavic varieties. Despite this closeness to other Slavic varieties, significant variation exists among Slovak dialects. In particular, eastern varieties differ significantly from the standard language, which is based on central and western varieties. Eastern Slovak dialects have the greatest degree of mutual intelligibility with Polish of all the Slovak dialects followed by Russian, but both lack technical terminology and upper register expressions. Polish and Sorbian also differ quite considerably from Czech and Slovak in upper registers, but non-technical and lower register speech is readily intelligible. Some mutual intelligibility occurs with spoken Russian, Ukrainian, and even Russian in this order, although their orthographies are based on the Cyrillic script. 
Topic Latin bacula, baculum, stick, dom, domus, house, cluster, claustrum, monastery, costal, castellum, church, casella, casula, shirt, machula, macula, blot, stain, scola, scola, school, screena, scrinium, cupboard, titul, titulus, title. Topic English sports, sportovit, to do sports, sport, sport football, football, association football. It can also mean American football, especially when specified as American football, offside, offside, aut, out, football, hockey. Hockey, hockey body sec, body check, hockey food, ham index, ham and eggs pizza, pizza ketchup, ketchup clothing, gin C, jeans leggini, leggings sweater, sweater tennis key, tennis shoes exclamations, fajn, fine super, super fakt, when used as an exclamation or a question, fakt, or fakt, fakt word translates to really, and is used to verify that something is true, such as in the statement, spala som len dve hodini, fakt, I only slept for two two hours, really? FAKT can also be used as a flavoring particle in a sentence, similar in meaning to word indeed, it emphatically underscores the truth of a sentence, such as in the statement on bull FAKT neprogemni, he was indeed unpleasant. Topic. German Nouns Brack, Brack, rubbish Czech, Zesh, Guild Seal, zeal, gold, target. Sin, zin, tin. Deca, dick, blanket. Draught, draught, wire. Follows, falschheit, falsity. Farba, farb, color. Fasian g, fashing, carnival. Fialka, veilchen, viola. Flasa, flash, bottle. Fura, fur, load. Graf, graf, count. Hock, hacken, hook. Helma, helm, helmet. Hoblik, hobel, hand plane. Jarmok, jarmarked, funfair. Nedla, nodal, dumpling. Minka, muns, coin. Ordeal, urtel, verdict. Pankucha, bunshu, stocking. Pletch, bletch, sheet metal. Regal, regal, shelf. Rucksack, rucksack, backpack. Rura, roar, pipe. Ritier, ritter, knight. Sachta, shocked, mine shaft. Sindel, shindle, roof shingle. Snura, schnur, cord. Taska, tash, purse. Tama, tama, topic. Vanna, Badawan, bathtub. Vianos, Wynocton, Christmas. Vlaka, flock, flake. Zumpa, sumpf, cesspit, verbs. Studovit, studierin, to study, as in, to major in. Vincevat, wunchen, to wish. Note, colloquially, the standard term in Slovak is Zalat greetings. Service is commonly used as a greeting or upon parting in Slovak-speaking regions and some German-speaking regions, particularly Austria. Papa is also commonly used upon parting in these regions. Both service and papa are used in colloquial, informal conversation. Hungarian Hungarians and Slovaks have had a language interaction ever since the settlement of Hungarians in the Carpathian area. Hungarians also adopted many words from various Slavic languages related to agriculture and administration, and a number of Hungarian loanwords are found in Slovak. Some examples are as follows. Wicker whip. Slovak korbak the standard name for whip is bik and korbak, itself originating from Turkish kerbak, usually means only one particular type of it. The wicker whip, Hungarian korbaks. Dragon, kite, Slovak sarkin, rather rare, drak is far more common in this meaning, sarkin often means only kite, especially a small one that is flown for fun and this term is far more common than drak in this meaning, for the dragon kite. The term drak is still used almost exclusively Hungarian sarkony. Rumor. Slovak cheer, Hungarian hear. Camel. Slovak tava, Hungarian teve. Ditch. Slovak jerek, Hungarian eric. Glass. Slovak pohar, Hungarian pohar. Topic. Dialects. There are many Slovak dialects, which are divided into the following four basic groups. Eastern Slovak dialects in Spies, Saris, Zemplin and Abov. 
Central Slovak dialects in Liptov, Orava, Tariak, Tekov, Hunt, Novorad, Jemer and the historic Zavalin County. Western Slovak dialects in remaining Slovakia, Kaisis, Trenčín, Trnava, Nitra, Zahori. Lowland Dolnozemske Slovak dialects outside Slovakia in the Pannonian Plain in Serbian Vojvodina and in southeastern Hungary, western Romania and the Croatian part of Sirmia. The fourth group of dialects is often not considered a separate group but a subgroup of central and western Slovak dialects. CEG Stolk 1968, but it is currently undergoing changes due to contact with surrounding languages, Serbo-Croatian, Romanian and Hungarian and long-time geographical separation from Slovakia. See the studies in Zabornik Spolku Vavodinskich Slovakistov, e.g. Dudok, 1993. For an external map of the three groups in Slovakia see here. The dialect groups differ mostly in phonology, vocabulary, and tonal inflection. Syntactic differences are minor. Central Slovak forms the basis of the present-day standard language. Not all dialects are fully mutually intelligible. It may be difficult for an inhabitant of the Western Slovakia to understand a dialect from Eastern Slovakia and the other way around. The dialects are fragmented geographically, separated by numerous mountain ranges. The first three groups already existed in the 10th century. All of them are spoken by the Slovaks outside Slovakia USA, Canada, Croatian Slavonia, and elsewhere, and Central and Western dialects form the basis of the Lowland dialects see above. The Western dialects contain features common with the Moravian dialects in the Czech Republic, the Southern Central dialects contain a few features common with South Slavic languages, and the Eastern dialects a few features common with Polish and the East Slavonic languages cf. Stolk, 1994. Lowland dialects share some words and aerial features with the languages surrounding them Serbo-Croatian, Hungarian, and Romanian. See also. Slovak orthography Slovak phonology Slovak declension List of language regulators for a list of languages with a regulated official form of the language Topic. References Topic. Bibliography Topic. Further reading Topic. External links L. Stur Institute of Linguistics, Slovak Academy of Sciences Slovak National Corpus Slovak Monolingual Dictionaries Slovaki. EU – Online Language Course Online Translation Dictionaries Slovak Phrasebook with Audio E. Slovak – Online Language Course Slovak language lessons for beginners